Yeah, with more than uh, expansion on the uh, environment, more uh, detail. You can make like a uh, almost uh, 3D uh, uh, type world instead of things just uh, being there. You can actually go into other uh, stores and whatnot or uh, uh, fields and, and environments. But it would be kind of nice if they uh, made it officially. Uh, uh, sort of almost open world you can explore literally the entire city on foot or whatever if you have to go on a train you can literally walk in that train and you could walk around on the bus walk around the bus and, and, uh, and uh, things like that and um, and if you have to just travel just walking from school to home you can do that you can literally walk from school to home if you choose but also you can still select where you want to where, where you uh, want to go, um, sorry, that was, that was my, uh, people, uh, talking, parents talking, uh, yeah, uh, that would, that would be, that would be cool, uh, really cool, but I don't know, in terms of gameplay and everything like that, I don't really know what to expect, but what I really, really want when you uh, talk to people and stuff, it'll literally affect what those people, what those people is, um, how you'll be throughout your uh, social link with them. Also, with the story itself, when you choose what to say, it'll literally from beginning to end affect affect the uh, story with uh, with the velvet room, with your persona, with your teammates, with the. Uh, with the environment itself, whatever you do, it will literally affect your story from beginning to end. You choose how you end your story. How you begin and end your story, I should say. That's what I really want. That's what I really wanted Persona to be like in the first place. Everything in, uh, uh, since since uh, then has been, since now has been um, just, you can say what you want, but it won't really matter. Whatever you've done, everything is just is just um there. Sure, you have an option of saying how you want things to end, uh, good or bad. But that was only it. from one instant. From one instant, you have to decide how how things will end. What about throughout? What will, will affect you? You will depend. Whatever you say depends on how much how much teammates you have. Whatever you say depends on how you influence your teammates. And uh. Things like that, you might end up being alone, you might end up being with a whole, a whole group of people. And also, um, this is just a minor thing, but since we're on uh, sexual links interacting with people, <coughs> you know how um, when you uh, get girlfriends and when they matter, uh, what, what you do, you could have as many as you want and no one would care. Let's incorporate in that in, in in there where if you if you decide to have another one, there might be an instant where the one you had before tries to do something uh, and you might end up losing them or something but you try to do something else to like try to bring them back try to incorporate since we're doing more social uh, since uh, Persona 5 is both a social and an action uh, battle aspect let's try to uh, put life in and, and try to put fiction and non-fiction uh, things into uh, one whole thing shall we if that's what you if that's what Atlas um, really wants to do with the uh, Persona franchise. Um, also, another thing, I keep forgetting to mention this because it's really minor, but um, you see how the 5 looks? For some reason, I can't help but think that this is, you know, the entire logo of Persona 5 in general, the P5, it looks like a um, racetrack. <laughs> like you're about to race or something. Nah, I'm not even gonna get into that. That's just something what I think about the looks. <laughs> It, it looks okay, but I'm just saying, kind of, like, kind of like a superhero uh, type thing, really. Like a logo it just has P5. Superman just drop a shirt, just P5 on it. <laughs> Where's the S? Oh, it replaced with Persona 5. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just keep joking about that. Sorry, sorry about that thing with the button. Um. But yeah, those are uh, really my thoughts on it. I'm not really gonna get into the gameplay or whatever right now. Because I can't really, no one to say how they're gonna make it better than it was with four. They uh, will find a way. I don't know. They'll find a way. But with story interaction, that's really all I can say. What you can add in new to improve upon it.
to make it more um, way of saying that it's a player's choice as possible. And the uh, more interactive environments. I'm really hoping that um, you're able to uh, free roam around selected places, um, select the places you've selected, or, or open worlds you can go around the entire city. But really, I really, really want to fight shadows within the city. Instead of just going to going to another world. Um, but with that said, going back on to that, um, I wouldn't mind uh, saying that humans can see shadows, but some can and some can't do anything about it. AKA, someone can use a persona, but others can't. There won't be as much uh, people using personas, but still, I'm just saying, it would be nice to know that, that um, people would actually know that we're doing something now, instead of just uh, saying, oh, you stopped this killer, oh, you stopped the world from doing it. We don't even know how it happened. <laughs> now, it's cool to see just uh, shadows actually roaming around or whatever, I mean, you have to fight them uh, freely. Uh, yeah, that would be, that would be really cool. And one not but about the Velvet Room, um, that, that was just an idea. Uh, most likely you, we are going to get a new assistant. I don't know who it will be, but most likely we will. Oh, I almost forgot about Felamon. And um, that other uh, one, the one who was uh, about Chaos, I forgot about those two, almost did. I want to bring those back. I know that um, basically Felamon is a butterfly now. He is reserved and one with each Persona game, but I want them to literally come back. Because it'll be more serious. This game seems like it's more serious uh, than uh, ever, ever uh, before. Um, if they go back to uh, making it serious as it was with 1 and 2. Uh, um, but even if it's one instant, they should just like making that map to indicate that something is going on with those two again. I really hope they do that as well, but that's just a minor thing, if you don't, whatever, if you do, okay, at least show something that they're there though, anything, um, I know that, um, the, uh, one of Chaos has been, like, went to another world or whatever, but he has been doing things, um, since then, summoning shadows, and the thing with, um, with, um, in uh, Persona 3 and stuff like that, all the things with the shadows and things, of Persona 4 with the shadows, uh, of the other selves, and shadows in general, uh, that shows that uh, he's still there. The fellow one shows that he's still there with uh, us, people like us with, uh, in, the, in the game that can summon personas. I know that they're showing that they're still there, but if you can actually have them come up and uh, say that they're that they're actually there again, that would be really nice. Especially consider that we're in some type of like purgatory type thing if they do the thing with angel beats. Um, that would be that would be pretty cool. But. Just try to at least do something to bring those, uh, say that those two are actually there. If you don't, okay. But if you do, then thank you so much for that. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts on Persona 5 in terms of uh, story, uh, interactions and things like that. But really, choices matter. Choices matter in the game, and I want them to know that from getting to end, you choose how it ends. There's like different endings and things like that. I would like, I would want something like that to happen. If you don't find whatever they haven't done anyway, so why start now? But if you do, great. Thank you for doing that. I'm gonna those are my thoughts. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I know it's been long uh, than most people, but see those are my thoughts. Can't wait for Tokyo Game Show to get more to get more gameplay and uh, actual art style of this game. I know it's gonna be fun. Can't wait for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I will uh, see you guys later. All right. Thanks.